Ever wondered what Greek food influenced by Italian cuisine would look like? Let's dive into Corfu's top dishes and uncover the mouth-watering food of this secret Mediterranean gem. Which one will leave you craving more? We're sure this is one of the most famous Greek dishes, but Corfu offered new ways of this delicious, mostly street food dish. Gyros is originally made with pork, but you can also get the chicken option. Besides gyros pita, we also got a chance to try gyros on a plate and a club sandwich version of gyros. Besides chicken and pork, lamb is very much present in Greek cuisine. We already tried some delicious lamb chops before visiting Kurfu, but we can safely say we were pleasantly surprised. Do yourself a favor and treat yourself to a slowly cooked lamb seasoned with delicious Greek spices. On hot summer days, nothing works better than a fresh salad made of tomatoes, cucumbers and onion with a hint of olive oil and feta cheese on top. But we are sure Greek salad is well known among most of you. That's why we also recommend getting a corfiot salad when craving freshness. Every restaurant offers its unique variation, but the main ingredient is always fruit for an extra kick of freshness. Another one for meat lovers. It is one of the most famous dishes in Corfu. Sofrito includes slowly cooked wheel in a sauce made of white wine, garlic and herbs. Traditionally, it's served with rice, but it's also yummy with chips. If you like Italian cuisine like we do, this dish is a piece of Italy on a plate. Pastizzata is pasta, usually spaghetti, served with traditional spicy tomato sauce and tender beef. Try it out! This one was such a surprise. Even though we knew bordetto from before as red sauce with seafood, this was something else. Usually the bordetto includes scorpion fish, but local varieties also use other fish. And they must be fresh on the day of preparation. Traditionally, the sauce takes a few hours to cook and it's extra spicy with lots of red pepper. Try this out, you won't regret it. Let's talk meat again. Souvlaki is traditional street food that also finds its place in restaurants, contains grilled smoky chicken meat on a skewer, but can also be made of pork. Usually you will find it served with chips and some yummy dip for freshness. The term saganaki represents any dish made in a small frying pan. Though the most famous is fried cheese, we also try shrimp saganaki and mussel saganaki. We love these two dishes every time we order them. And the best part is, every restaurant makes its own unique sauce. All the fish lovers will be extra excited about this as Kurfu restaurants offer a great selection of fish. We got a chance to try some well-known fish such as sea bass and sea bream, but we were also amazed by sardines that come in different forms, such as marinated in vinegar, grilled or simply fried. The most known dip around Greece is definitely tzatziki, a creamy, fresh and a bit garlicky dip that will leave you speechless. Another famous creamy, fishy dip made of cod is taro masalata and you simply must try it. If you get a chance, treat yourself to a spicy feta dip. Usually the dips are served with traditional Greek pita bread. Are you a coffee lover? So are we, and we got you! Even though the temperatures are really high in the summer, you can find this perfect coffee drink at almost every cafe or restaurant. We are talking about creamy, cold and delicious coffee poured over the right amount of ice called Fredo Espresso or Frappe. The latter is not a fruit smoothie, it's a coffee. Mmm, delish! Tanquat is a very unique fruit that looks like a tiny orange and tastes like a mixture of lemon and orange. Like eating orange with a peel. <laughs> You will find fresh kumquat at local markets and food stores. You will also find kumquat liquor, locum and baklava all around the island in souvenir shops and other boutiques. Pump the little thumbs up for that brave tasting! A quick bonus tip! Pane Suvlaki is a comfy little restaurant in the center of the old town of Corfu. Their specialty is suvlaki and other grilled meat. If you visit for dinner, a reservation is a must. We had their famous chicken suvlaki with pita bread and Greek salad on the side. Truly recommend it! Kusto's traditional taverna is truly a heaven for all the foodies. It will charm you with the big garden, Greek vibe, owner's hospitality and of course their amazing food. They serve traditional Corfiot cuisine. Try their mussel saganaki. It's to die for. Taverna Malibu is your go-to place if you're looking for a romantic spot to enjoy your meal. The best time to visit the taverna is at sunset as they have this amazing terrace with a beautiful ocean view. Their seafood is really delicious and we truly recommend getting Mediterranean bruschetta with feta. Spare some room for baklava that is also very popular on the island. It's worth it! Limani is a taverna that offers a great selection of meat and fish dishes. We were charmed by their amazing burdetto and tara masalata. The service was really nice and helpful, and the cute little kittens walking around are just a bonus. 
Nick Rigaritsa is another hidden gem that we found on our last day on the island. It's a must try if you're up for another round of traditional Kurviut cuisine. Their dormadas are simply amazing and homemade orange pie is worth a sin. We tried some incredible dishes and explored some fantastic restaurants. We'd love to hear what dish caught your eye and what is your favorite Corfia treat we should try next time. Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the foodie conversation going. See you in the next one!